Okay, folks, quick little recap, um, visual programming. <coughs> there we go, ping, ping. What's up, going crazy? So, visual programming unit. Just gonna remind you about what we were doing before the break, because it was quite a while ago now. Where's half the class gone? It's got to go early too, then. My God. Wait, where did they go? I don't know. I said half past three. Sean had to go. Don't repeat the lessons. <laughs> I'm not going to. Yeah, shall I carry on? They're missing out. Anyway, so before the break, we did compare and contrast visual and sequential programming, uses and advantages of event driven programming. There was a class activity we did, I'm just reminding you. Then, next thing we did was looking at different types of visual environment and we talked about the different types of visual application environments there are. Um, we then talked about software design techniques and talked about different types of model. RAD, Agile, Waterfall. I gave out some references on this and also a video about the lecture we did in that class. Okay, you then need to develop a plan for doing a program, developing a program and that plan will be simple like I do show an example of one. Um, oh God. If, if I can. Um, <clears throat> so you're gonna make a plan based on the software development cycle you use. Here's the article I had, I shared this with you, which is something I found. The reason I kind of walked, talked over this nice summary of a waterfall rad and agile models and what they're all about. And you'll choose one of these. Remember this? So you choose one of these. These are the different methods you've got. And you'll develop a plan based on the method you use. Now RAD does go very well with this type of programming. Um, and this is an example of a diagram being used for uh, iteration. So you've got these different stages and you've got to plan your time out across them and how you're going to do this. Comparison between RAD and Agile, there's some various things there. You, you choose which one to go for, it's right for you. Okay, that's something I, I shared out before. <clears throat> okay. Um, See what else I've got here. It was something to shared out. There you go. This is very useful. This is an example of a student's plan. Okay, We're building a game. Now this approach being used is very much an iterative, fast model. They're simply just building and testing, and that's all they're doing: build, test, build, test. Different parts of the game and how they're going through. Okay. So I'd like you to do just for a, a bit of time, <clears throat> just maybe just just 15 minutes, is just get a spreadsheet open, choose one of those three models and just make a general rough plan before you start building the prototype further, okay? Some of you have already started, if, if so, just backdate what you've done so far, yeah? Just backdate it, just make a very simple structured skeleton plan like this, and um, taking the stages out of the, the model that you need to do, okay? So if you go back here, for example, take one of the models like uh, RAD, those are the stages there, or Agile looks like that. Okay, these are all links I put into WhatsApp in that message some time back. If you can't find it, I could possibly repost it in the group. That'd be helpful. Yeah? Maybe I should do that. I'll repost it back in the group in a minute. So you can get that back to you again. And then after that's done, I'll look at your plan briefly. Okay, just okay it. And then we can look at it. Then you'll be back on the technical work of actually construction of your prototype. And developing it further. All right. Now the deadline for this particular assignment visual programming is the production of a game and a report. So when students finish this work off, what they tend to have done is have you know, constructed a report which looks a bit like this. I give you, on this unit by the way, you have a contents page guidance here. So you wanna start building your report up early. It's wise to take this right away and start constructing based on this. Yeah, we'll start building this up. And your plan goes somewhere where you do your design stage two, which is your use of stages. So you choose which which uh, choice, which um, type of design technique you're gonna use, RAD, Agile, Waterfall. Okay, and then you're gonna make a plan of your schedule. Okay, like an outline of your work schedule. So where we are now, we're about halfway through and yet to go is the building of this application, a testing plan. You're also gonna make a film clip. You're gonna film your game working, okay, on with a screen capture. Just like a little walk around of it, the game being played, and make a link to an online video of that. Okay, it's a very small, simple clip. 
and that's when you finish it off. Now, I think I'm looking at your assessment schedule when I was looking at it earlier. With your programming, I had timetabled it for. It's quite this free too far away, I feel. It's in July. I think what might be better, okay, for this instead is me to bring this forward to something like um, mid midsummer. So in the term college term dates, we are around about here now. 20th of yeah, we're here, we've got six weeks to go. And there's other stuff you've got due in. But I think somewhere around here might be better for the game due in. Yeah, that's my, my feeling. But I'm conscious to avoid GCSE exam weeks. Yeah? You guys know when you've got any coursework or exams doing? Or, or May writing. May writing? Yeah, like, go on, it's May. It's not just one. Hmm. Writing about three. Is that coursework, like a report? No, no, no. no. We're taking, like, tests. Tests. Get time tests. Yeah. yeah. Okay. About three of them. Hmm. But no wrecking. What's your date for that? I'm not too sure. Is it? Oh, I'll check and get back to you. So it's maybe not early May, is it? No, no, no. no. Somewhere later, like around 19th. Like before half term, maybe. Yeah. It may be I can maybe get us orientated towards what doing the draft on this. Because if you're, if you're planning building your game, for example, like you are now, right, in terms of time you need for it, th this unit is like three credits, okay? So it's 30 hours. But I just want to give you a bit more time on this because I think it's something you'll, you're enjoying, you'll enjoy doing a lot. <laughs> so um, we started doing this module around there. You're only just starting to build now. So I think I should give it at least 10. 20 hours of building time. So I'm looking at 2nd of May. So in your planning, in your scheduling, can you look for 2nd of May, please, as your kind of construction of your game? Yeah? Okay, I think they could be built by then. And the report could follow two weeks after that. Yeah? And those were GCSEs, we'll talk about them. We'll make you some adjustments, yeah? We'll do, folks, right, so folks, just 15 minutes, please, just working on a schedule, right? Making a very simple schedule. Make us, you can use a spreadsheet we use for website design creation example something you could amend okay and you're going to look at these different design techniques i'm now going to repost them onto your um whatsapp okay so you can look at those links again quickly